What's happening everyone? I'm just going to do a quick review on this Rain's menswear uh, waterproof breaker jacket. And oh god, what do I think of this? Now let's get into it anyway. Um, so there's not much I can say too much about this. I mean the Rain's brand it's become quite established now. Uh, it's not expensive but but it's not exactly cheap either. So you want you want some half decent. So yeah, we've got the embossed um, rain zips. To be fair, they're really good quality. Um, they don't feel like cheap or flimsy or anything like that. Got the pull cords to tighten it. Also, it's got a big hood with stone flap. We've also got the underarm vents, so it's very breathable. It's also got two zip up front pockets. Um, they also have which I quite like, the uh, little zip flaps. Moncler used that a lot. Uh, it's quite handy just to tuck your zip away. This jacket is 100% uh, waterproof. Um, meant to protect you from wind. On the back. That's the back of the jacket. Whatever this is, I don't know, just gets me down. And also, what I've noticed looking, if I can get it to focus, it's like these two holes in the back go straight through. Great. So, have a go look at the other great features about this jacket. Got the uh, press studs as well on the cuffs, they're embossed with reins. You can have, have them. One of two ways, you can either have them baggy when worn, baggy as anything, or you can press the studs together and cut the circulation off to your whole body. So it's up to you, you know, quite a good design. And the best bit of all are the pull cords. Pull them nice and tight. All you'll be doing all day while you're wearing this jacket is fiddling with them, because all they do is slacken up. These are absolutely useless i paid 40 quid for this jacket on sale from 70 from uh to Suta. it was peeing it down outside when i was in meadowall and i don't know what i was thinking i must have been thinking i'm gonna melt walking to my car in brain so i needed something but yeah um i was wearing this and i was speaking to one of my friends as well and i don't know what he was saying to me because all i was thinking about was these fucking pull cords Tight, tight, fiddling with him, fiddling with him, non-stop. I got this in a size, 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 size. Extra small, small. And it's still, it fits me, still quite big, other than uh, these. These buttons, they're just, it's just madness, like I say. You can either have them baggy as anything on your wrists, or, oh. you, can have, or you can press them closed and stop your circulation. Brilliant. So yeah, this jacket. What do I think of it? I think you've guessed. This flap as well. Just everything about this jacket annoys me. I know it's only a cheap jacket, but I don't know. Well, it is 100% waterproof. It does what it says on tin. It feels like your mum's washing up gloves. The pink washing up gloves. That's what it feels like. That's the material. 40 quid reduced from 70. I don't know why I'm getting so worked up about it, to be honest, but... Yeah, when I got back to my car from the minute walk from Meadow Wall, because I thought I was going to melt, so I bought this fucking thing. What was sat on passenger seat? Oh, let's do a special guest appearance. Bang! Berghaus Mary Peak. Sat there just looking at my passenger seat. So... I don't know. So yeah, just a quick review anyway, just on this uh, jacket. Being better, just going into bookmakers, having one spin, £40 spin, covering all numbers 1 to 35, and it lands on 36. And I probably wouldn't have been as disappointed as I am with this jacket. That's my thoughts and opinions. Hope you enjoyed the vid, folks. Um, yeah, take care until next time. In a bit.